going on with y'all boys? It's your boy Abnormal Maniac, also known as Encoy. Um, pretty much I joined Abnormal. How many of y'all because I joined Abnormal because I wanted to bring back some of my OGness, man. My OG feeling. Formerly led Abnormal number three when I was Abnormal Mona. Played for Abnormal when I was Abnormal Bone, Burns. You can check all the motherfucking all the fucking proof of Hall of Fame right here. Feel me? I was abnormal burns. But uh I ended up closing that YouTube a while back. Like right now, if you go put this shit in the goddamn description up here at the top. That shit closed. Feel me? Not fine. You can find my channel though at Create a Lead through my new channel. Right here. I mean, I made that background there when I was goddamn abnormal. I mean, when I was nasty. You can check here for all my backgrounds I made, my white style backgrounds, my 2D backgrounds. I mean, my old school backgrounds. This one I made for Arrow way back. And when I made one when I was Cries. Then, goddamn, I just made these for a recruitment challenge I did back then. And you know, these are my somewhat new backgrounds, my tune, my fat background, the savage shit, receptive, we are Zix, all that other bullshit. But um, let's get down to the commentary I was going to get y'all boys with, man. It's a little champion boxing commentary. He has been in control. Fight night, night champion commentary, man. I'm playing this Andre this Bishop in the career mode, which personally now, I think this is probably... Joel Fight Night is probably the best game out just because of the career mode they got. And, and I exactly like it. But, um, this channel, I mean, this game here, bro, is just a game I felt like coming to you guys, man. Just because I felt like doing a new, a new thing, a new video game, something different besides Call of Duty. Um, I'll be doing another Halo big, commentary big real soon. Knock his ass out real fast. But um, now like I said, I, I I like this this game right here, man. Simply because your other career mode, it's pretty dope ass career mode. Pretty much shows you how the career of a boxer turn bad or go good, depending on the hate that people show. Um, later on, I become a heavyweight because I was locked, because the, the character was locked up for like four years or whatever, and uh, I run through all the heavyweight fighters and shit, but um, I fight this nigga named Isaac Frost, who is a just straight fucking monster, bro. I mean, beyond a boss. Hey, Big Baby Brother I'm going to fight it but, um, I'm going to be right where he is. Also, can y'all boys, like man, saying, just bring up something that's, hey, hey, that really needs to die off and competitive, Big like all that fanboy what? shit. Like, honestly, a lot of folks call Truly, people fanboys, but every team more, that right? starts up now Please is somewhat of a fanboy. Unless you got OG members and OG leaders of the team that formerly was in Abnormal or... EF or Sky, Gare, yada yada yada. You don't have an OG <laughs> member that's either because they quit gold medalist. No one and they stop the playing Xbox me. Nobody here could ever go the or with me. shit, they just quit. By psychosis, he quit. So it wasn't no, uh, it wasn't no way of getting permission uh, from him Isaac anyway because he wasn't going to want nobody else starting it. Both these young men but I feel that if he was an OG member of Abnormal, you can have the right to start the team, you feel me? Just because, I mean, even though that founder didn't want to start it, his reason why his name is the founder, because he stopped playing. So, but, um, like I said, though, know, like all that fanboy shit need to stop because every team out there is somewhat of a fanboy. Unless you're starting up a brand new team name, which I advise most people who start teams now is to do a brand new team name, period. I mean, you got to. I mean, that, that's probably the best way if you're not being called a fanboy. But, um, also, I want to talk about these YouTube teams. You know, I was thinking about doing a lot of new YouTube shit, going for fees and all that shit. 
But I kind of want, like, like, like more to. YouTube teams to have from fucking commentary uh, squads, you know. Despite Folks that like to I've talk about shit, one of the best talk about the games, the, the gameplay. I don't care what you say about me. Yada, yada, yada. Always nice but, to see um, Always nice to see you, too. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I really wanted to see. You know how good because, she is I mean, it's just, that's just what I like to see. To but, um... Uh, you're a great also, I want to talk about racism, man. We're not a lot of people on Xbox best. always talk Megan and I shit. On Andre's career. If you're a black nice. person on Xbox, you know what I'm talking about. Isaac Frost, if you're a Mexican on Xbox, you know what I'm talking years. about. If you're any other race besides do. white on Xbox, Thanks, you know what I'm talking about. Did this old man so, ever get your father a title shot? It's 2014, shot? man. Was All that shit way. should be done with you. The only way that the title is me. It should be over. Oh, you think so? I understand... That a lot of people instill that into their children's Dad, mind that black people aren't shit man. any other race Dad. besides yours ain't shit. You don't know who you're fucking It comes from parenting, but then it comes from pure knowledge. I mean, you gotta understand like what 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 has to go on, you feel me? You, you gotta understand this shit. Yeah, it's hard for black people out here in this world, man, to get new good jobs, good jobs to provide for your family, being able to come out of jail and find good jobs. I mean, but that's just the statistics, you feel me? I mean, a normal white person can get out of jail before a black person and find a better job than a black person who just got out of jail. You can look that up anywhere. I mean, but that's just how this world is. But this world is so multicultural, you just got to deal with it. I mean, you got white sleeping with black, sleeping with Latinos, sleeping with other, all other races. You got black sleeping with all other races. Latinos sleeping with all other races. You can't be racist for the rest of your life. That that's that that's not gonna fly because your children might grow up and, and fall in love with a different race. Chicago, what are you gonna do then? Oh fuck you! I'm not gonna deal with you no more. That's your child. You can't you can't so get that out your head. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but you gotta realize she chose that person and he chose that person for a reason. Just like me, my girl white, my mom really ain't like the shit, but I ain't give a fuck two shits about what she said because I love my girl straight up. We got a beautiful son. Like I said, this word is multicultural. My girl is Caucasian. I'm black. My son is mixed half and half. I've right seen so many different females, have so many different kinds of children, different race of children in this world, and they grow up and they and they and they feel some type of way because they they get treated different. And you can't do that shit in this world, man. Look, this shit just needs to die off here. I don't give a damn if y'all just like this, but I mean, yeah, I'm just talking straight up. That's that's just how it is, man. Like, folks on Xbox, a lot of white people on Xbox, they're coming to me go, you're, you're just a fucking nigga. You're a broke-ass nigga. Yada, yada, yada. I can't be a broke-ass nigga if I got my own house, I got my own family, got my own job, and you still living with your mom, and you think you're hard because you're talking shit and your mama buying everything for you. First off, you gotta know the meaning of nigga. This one kid called me a nigga, I said, what's the meaning? He said, you're just a cotton picking black nigga. I'm like, yeah, you're ignorant, so technically you're the nigga in this party. And he, he shut up because he ain't know what I meant by that. If you look in a dictionary, nigga means ignorance. AKA the black time back in the day when slavery was around. Just the black slang terminology. But they came around and they and they put it in the dictionary as a form of ignorance. So next person that calls me a nigga, bro, just look at yourself and think about why. What was the purpose of you calling me? It's just because I'm black, and that's it. And I'm coming with a logical explanation to your ass, and you just get mad about it. Then so be it. But technically, when you come around to it, you're the nigga in the park. Excuse my language to everybody that's watching this, but I mean it's just it's just common sense. But um off that subject, racism is still alive, but it needs to die off quick because so it ain't Bishop getting this world nowhere. Nowhere at all. Because there's well, so many races in this world. Well. But um and understand why he got put down in the first place so he don't make the same mistake. I just wanted to say goddamn I just wanted to talk to y'all boys about this game, man. About whatever kind of my mind. I'll be doing the question and answer series next. 
So y'all boys post whatever y'all want me to talk about or ask me a question and not answer it. I don't give a fuck what you ask me. But yeah, shit, y'all boys be easy. This shit really cool as fuck about it, though. That's what he does it's most putting his punches together. Good combination by Andre Bishop. Nice block that time. It was a real chill to the game. I mean, this is not a I like this game a lot, Bishop, actually. It appears that he's slowing at this point. Like I said, yeah, what he needs to do is start the campaign. Shots a little bit. Right now, so, you know, as you just alluded to, um, just not like told. I said, y'all boys go sub my channel though. 50 subs, I'll be doing the background giveaway. I do a random goddamn job comment and tell you y'all want a background I mean, on whatever video or well, on this video. Put it that way. Y'all do the question and answers comment on this video and a giveaway comment on this video. I hit 50 subs. I'll do a randomizing number random.org and, and i pick a random person that wants to back but um you can land a like i said y'all boys be safe really y'all ever want to play with me man y'all ever want me to get down i don't report for teams no more but if y'all ever want to go for some fees or some shit y'all boys message me on either abnormal maniac or incoy it's not ncoy it's not ncoy it's in koi, like a koi fish, just without the cave, my man. So, like I said, y'all boys be easy. This young nigga finna get his ass peace. Watch this shit, though. Finna hit him with one of these guys. Here we go. Nope, not this one. One more. Hold on now. Hold on. Let me get my stamina. Woo. Can't hit me. Woo. Watch out. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. You're doing too much, homie. Watch out now. Knock out. Knock out. Knock out. Knock out. Knock out. Go to sleep, young boy. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. He can't survive. There's 20 seconds left. Can he survive the run? Oh, shit. That boy Bishop got them hands. That boy Bishop got them hands. Can he survive that shit? One, two, three, four, four, five. Six. Oh, it's a wrap. TKO, exactly nigga, knock out. Knock out. Shit, man, y'all boys be safe, man. Like I said, this game fire as fuck. You even got ESPN on this bitch talking about me, bro. This shit fire. Game shit. This shit pretty much over with. But, um. You know, here on ESPN. it is what it is. 12-minute commentary, is shit pretty long. I've seen in decades. I but, um, um the caliber of Palmer. It is pro debut that boys be easy. He made a statement. Andre Not Bishop, this clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of the McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs.